Hi guys. I had to gr quickly grab my camera because I've never been more excited over a product, a gadget product, uh, as I am today, this morning. So I wanted to show you guys this item I picked up. Uh, it's called the West Bend uh, Four Slice Breakfast Station. And what it is, is it has these four slices and don't mind it, I'm cooking away. So, but again, I, I just wanted to grab my camera and start filming because this thing is absolutely amazing, especially if you like um, Egg McMuffins. My kids love them. So what it what what is so unique about it is it has this little area here that you actually, and I hope my lighting is okay, um, that you actually poach eggs or you can poach eggs you can um you can make hard boiled eggs and uh keep things warm and what i'll do is I'll, i will explain it comes with two of these little pans here it also comes with two round pans which are right here it comes with uh it's, it's looks scary at first when you look at all these buttons but you'll it's so easy to understand um this area here, this is this is the steamer tray, and what you do is you stick your water in here. And what it does is whatever amount of water you put in there determines how the eggs are going to come out. Um, so far, I've only noticed that you can only poach two eggs, but you can actually hard boil eight eggs. Um, and this little cup here that comes with it determines um, how the eggs are going to come out. Now there's a side for poached eggs on one side and there's a side for hard boiled eggs on the other. I use the poaching side um, and I just go up above the medium line. I purchased this for $50 on sale over at um, Sam's Club and it's blowing my mind. Uh, let me show you the box. The box is right here and it's again called the West Bend uh, four slice breakfast station platinum edition whether that makes a difference I don't know I looked it up on um, on the internet actually from West Bend's website and it appears to be uh, made exclusively for Sam's Club so if you have a Sam's Club membership um, it normally was uh, I think 69 and was on sale for 49 I believe or it could have been 59 don't quote me on that but okay so um, we're going to start um, right away I want to dig into this because I'm so fascinated by it again this is the this is the um, bottom of it once you take all the things off um, but when you put the uh, the hard-boiled egg area and then this is your main area um, this is where everything is going to go so and I hope you guys can see this if I was going to do a hard-boiled egg or I'm sorry, a poached egg. And I, I'm thinking they gave you the square for a for regular toast, um, that size. I'm thinking that's what it's for. So you would put your egg in there. Now you could break your egg, you could scramble your, scramble your egg, or you could put your egg, just pop it in there. Uh, not the egg itself, but crack it in there. And I have been uh, po poking the yolk um, just to make it more appealing to the kids because they don't like drippy but if you were going to do uh, say a eggs benedict you would definitely want it soft boiled so that there's liquid and with obviously a hollandaise sauce well let me get right to it these two would go on here you put your eggs in here you have to butter it first or put a little oil so that the egg doesn't stick you then pop this over the top now what goes on top of here Canadian bacon Make sure it's pre-cooked. You cannot put uncooked uh, meat in this machine. Your um, meat goes in here, and then this goes on top. And remember, you put an appropriate amount of water in there, um, which determines the length of time for the egg being cooked. And then all you do is go over here and push, put your toast in here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make two. So um, without... Uh, explaining to you I'm actually going to show you now I'm going to use the round pans and as you can see I already put a nice little layer of butter in there um, I used oil I didn't feel like the oil uh, came out these slide right out with the butter and then I slide them onto a napkin to get rid of any excess butter so let me crack an egg okay so I put two eggs in each of the round pans and I chose the round pans because I have um, Thomas English muffins and I want to 
kind of duplicate the egg McMuffin. So I'm just going to pop the yolk and just very gently poke into it. And then onto this one. I have also filled the water on the poached egg side. Uh, it's right above the medium line. I, I went about a quarter inch above it. And um, I'm going to take that water and pour it into the steamer tray. Again, this water, the amount of water that you use, that you choose to use, is going to determine the time that the eggs are actually steamed for. And place the whole mechanism up top, which are the two trays. This is the actual tray that it will cook, cook in. I'm going to take these out. I hope you're seeing this because it does seem a little dark, and I apologize. I'm the only one working this, and the only reason why I'm working this is because I thought it was such a awesome buy. I'm tired of buying gadget things that do not work. And so you just put your you put your eggs right into the steamer tray, or the steamer tray is underneath this. This is the cooking tray. You put your and you'll see if you look very closely, there are holes above that. Stick your eggs there. This is what they call the warming tray. So if you have any meat, such as Canadian bacon or something like that, you would stick that Canadian bacon right in there. As I'm going to do right now. And that's all. You take this, and you put the lid on top, and there's a little hole here, so you don't want to put your hand there. Now I've split two English muffins in half. I'm going to take those English muffins and put them in the toaster slots. Take this. Now there's our toast, our eggs, and our meat are in here. You go over here, you just hit egg and toast. It waits for you. You pop each one of these down and that will start the egg process. Now here's the wonderful thing and I found it one of the most amazing things about this machine. Not that it's just good, but the toast will not pop up until these eggs are finished. So what it does is it stops, the, it stops after it toasts to whatever, whatever number you put it on. And the toast stays in here and will not pop up until these eggs are done. This is amazing. And I will show you in a second what everything looks like when it's now, finished. Just to let you know, it's still cooking. We are at about two minute mark, uh, maybe a minute 45 seconds working into our two minute mark. Um, I just wanted to clarify a few things. The tray that the water goes in that is called the heating tray. To me, it's a steamer tray, but it literally is called the heating tray. The tray that we that we put the little pans on, the round pans, that was called the steaming tray. I wanted to make sure I clarified that so no one gets confused. There is the square poaching tray, which is this, and then there is a round poaching tray, which is what I stuck the eggs in. Then, of course, the warming tray, which is what I put the meat on, and then these the steam vent or the lid that is this section here so it has one two three four five sections counting uh the little pans um it's very easy nothing really fits without one or the other so it's kind of uh self-explanatory as you're doing it um this thing is absolutely amazing and i again i don't know how long it's going to last I'm hoping quite some time, but um, when you purchase something and you find out that it, you know, it's one of those things that you buy and you say, oh, you know, you never use that second. I would use the second part often. It's I, I was when I purchased it. That was one of my uh, main concerns. How many times will I use that section? Well, I've had it and I know it's new, but I could not uh, see any other way. It's wonderful. No frying pans to have to get out. No having to use the stove. You can. This is just foolproof. You walk. You walk away, 
and um, gives you time to do other things, um, especially if you have little kids, uh, you can just walk away from this and know that it will be done perfect when you come back. Okay, now the toast just popped up. So I know that it, everything is done. And so what I'm going to do is take this toast, put it on a plate, or the English muffin, I'm sorry, it's not toast. English muffin, put it on the plate, this is the top. Okay, we're gonna get the bottom. Now here comes the good part. This is wonderful. I'm gonna take off the top, the warming tray top. There's the Canadian bacon, cooked perfectly. Um, make sure that if you cook anything in here that it is cooked before you even put it in there. It has to be cooked. Now here are the eggs. This is the amazing part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to just drop it down. There's a little water, obviously. Uh, you're working with steam, so it has to be. Take this down. I'm just dropping it just so that it uh, that it gets most of the water off. The bottom, whatever. Okay. I'm going to scoop this up. And put it right on the bottom of the tray or the uh, English muffin. Put a little, but a uh, little. Um, cheese and I use Cooper Sharp. Put the Canadian bacon and that's it. That is absolutely it. It is easy, breezy, works beautifully, tastes perfect. Tastes absolutely perfect. A hundred times better than McDonald's. This is it. People, get this. I, I cannot speak High, more highly of it. It is excellent. Um, definitely a great buy. So if you get a chance, get over to Sam's Club, get yourself one. $49.99, not a bad price. You're getting a toaster and you're getting a poacher slash hard-boiled egg maker slash egg McMuffin maker. So it's a win-win.